Hey everybody, this is Old Doobie from the Old Doobie VR Show, and today I want to do something a little bit different. I want to do a feature set of Microsoft Windows Mixed Reality Portal. Now, why do I want to do a feature set of Microsoft Windows Mixed Reality Portal? Well, I spend a lot of time in forums and the comment sections for VR, as you might have guessed, and Microsoft Windows Mixed Reality gets a bad rap. I mean, people talk poorly of it. I mean, even in the Windows Store here, Mixed Reality Portal has a bad uh, has bad grades, um, poor stars, poor showing, and a lot of people commenting about how bad it is, um, for lack of a better word. Now, there's a lot of people that have Windows Mixed Reality headsets, and um, basically, Microsoft mixed reality portal for those headsets is kind of like a quote-unquote necessary evil for them to get over to Steam VR and play the, the many titles and games there. But I have a different opinion. I think Windows Mixed Reality Portal is actually a really good environment and um, it has a lot of features. Now when it first started it didn't have that many features but over time Microsoft has added a lot of updates to it and it's made it very functional. So much so that I can actually spend a lot of time in Mixed Reality Portal as my VR desktop. And for the other platforms like Steam VR and, and Oculus, you actually have to use different apps and programs. But for Windows Mixed Reality Portal, it's built into Windows and functions like Windows, like your desktop. And there's a lot of other different neat and nifty features that they put in here that not a lot of people know about. So I just wanted to actually um, highlight those and have everybody be aware of it and hopefully, you know, bring a better opinion of the w Windows Mixed Reality Portal. Now, who do I blame for this? I blame Microsoft. So you might be thinking, how do I actually blame Microsoft and yet still sit here and try to promote their software? Um, now, you know my channel is from a business perspective, and so the issue here is Microsoft has done poor marketing for Windows Mixed Reality Portal, and it's by choice. It's actually a business decision. Microsoft has chosen to focus on the enterprise as opposed to consumer VR, which if you check my video, my previous video about um, my analysis of the, uh, the state of VR, um, you'll know that I, I think VR is divided into two segments, enterprise and consumer, and that's consumer is you and me, the home user. And Microsoft has chosen to invest on the other side, the enterprise. Uh, although they did release this uh, Windows Mixed Reality uh, headsets and also um, the Windows Mixed Reality Portal for Windows 10, um, they just did a very uh, minimal investment um, when they chose, and then they chose to focus on the enterprise side with, with uh, the Microsoft HoloLens. But we've got what we got, and I think it's actually pretty good. So what I want to do is go through some of the functionality here that really makes this a handy tool that you can actually use as your alternative desktop in VR. Okay, so the first feature set that I want to talk to you about that's integrated into Windows Mixed Reality is Cortana. That's right, Microsoft has its digital assistant Cortana integrated into Windows Mixed Reality. Now you may have um, encountered this by accident as you were going through the Windows Mixed Reality portal here and you may have said something and Cortana picked it up, but it is integrated and it helps you navigate this particular environment. So I'm just gonna do a quick couple of commands so you can see how Cortana is uh, integrated. So one of the ways that it's integrated is, is in your uh, navigation. So when I say move forward, you can see that Cortana moved me forward. Move back, move left, move right. And so you can see there that Cortana um, helps you with your navigation in the environment. Uh, now, another way that it, it helps is that it actually uh, does things for you to help interact. So if I point my controller at the, uh, the store here and I say select, it actually gives me the selection. 
And so if I don't have my controller, and you can see now here, I've switched to my gaze. And my gaze is that little white dot that you see moving around. When I put the white dot on the bag and I say, select, select. You can see there that it does do it <laughs> after a little bit of goading, which is, which is good because it's not as sensitive as you want it to be because sometimes just in your normal speech patterns, you may say something that Cortana would recognize and you don't want that activating. So it, it, it is pretty good when you're very intentional with your words, it'll pick them up and you can get voice commands in the Windows Mixed Reality. The next feature set that uh, Windows Mixed Reality Portal has is it has a pass-through mode. Now, um, the other VR environments actually have pass through as well. So, um, Steam VR as well as um, the Quest actually have a pass through, but um, Microsoft has it as well. And that pass through mode is called flashlight. So, when I say flashlight on, I get my pass through. And what's cool about it is, as the name says, it's flashlight. So, I can actually move my controllers around and it will follow the pass-through will follow the direction of the controllers as if it were a flashlight looking into my normal uh, workspace so that's pretty cool and I can actually turn them on individually flashlight left off and so now I only have the right one on flashlight off right and there you have it flashlight pass through mode okay so the next feature set that not too many people know about with Windows Mixed Reality has to do with navigation as well and that is you can use your Xbox controller in Windows Mixed Reality as a form of navigation so let me do a quick demo for you so it's gonna involve a couple of things here so I want you to be able to see what I'm able to do flashlight on right so now you can see I'm using the flashlight and I've got my Xbox controller here so what I'm going to do is show you with the left thumbstick here I can actually navigate so when I move the thumbstick to the left I shift to the left when I move it to the right I shift to the right when I move back I go back and now when I move forward on the left stick what happens is you'll see the navigation comes up and so now wherever I look I can navigate to that spot while I'm holding down the, the thumbstick and then when I let go of the thumbstick I move I teleport so I move forward on the left analog stick I get the teleport beam and then I move to that location now for the right thumbstick that gives me my turns so when I go to the left I turn to the left and when I go to the right I go to the right and I've got to be careful with my speech once again because Cortana was picking it up and uh, I was using Cortana phrases and those were jumping in there you see the little black box pop up but yeah Xbox controller you can move around and when I hit the Xbox button that gives me the main menu now I'm going to use another controller and that is my mouse Let's see if I can move over so I'm gonna get over to my desktop and see if I can find my mouse there it is and so now I'm gonna try to get control because now it's tracking my head movements but now I'm gonna switch over to the mouse controls just by moving the mouse and there it is and so now you can see the mouse cursor and how I move the mouse on the mouse pad actually corresponds in 3D. So when I move the, move the mouse up, it moves into depth into the VR space until it hits an object like that wall there. So let me move closer here. I'm using the joystick. 
and now wiggling the mouse and so now you can see the mouse moving in 3d space when it touches an object like that wall it moves along the wall and when the wall ends it starts to move into the background until it hits another wall it is so very intuitive moving the mouse in 3d space and not only that when the mouse touches a 3d object you can interact with it so like when I touch on the Windows Store bag here and I click and I left click it interacts and there it goes and so moving the mouse allows you to interact with the objects in the Windows Mixed Reality Portal environment which is really cool and another thing is if say I didn't have my controllers and I didn't have this um, um, the Xbox controller on the mouse if I right click it turns into the teleport and now I can move the mouse around and teleport with mouse controls so that's another function that is really cool as far as the controls within this 3D space. Now this also is going to come in handy when we start to open up applications. Alright and so the final input feature set that I want to talk about is not so much an actually uh, input as it is uh, a feature and that is the proximity sensor. Now this relates to the mouse input because the proximity sensor when it detects that it's on your headset it will switch from desktop input to headset input for the mouse. Now, a lot of people complained about this because there was a manual switch on your keyboard, Win plus Y, that would switch between the headset and the desktop uh, use of the mouse. And people didn't like that. And a lot of people complained about you know taking the headset off and having it on and having that input switched. When you're on your desktop uh, 2D monitor, and say your headset detected that it was on, you couldn't get your mouse controls and then you'd have to hit Win plus Y. But having shown you that the mouse input interacts with this 3D VR space uniquely, you can see that you actually need to have the mouse switched off from your 2D desktop. The two cannot correlate. When you move your mouse in 3D space in this VR environment, it does not correspond to the 2D space on your desktop. So if I were to move my mouse over to here and to click on it, if it were moving simultaneously on the desktop, I would be clicking on some random icon. So you actually have to shut off the 2D functionality in order to use the mouse in 3D space and vice versa. So this was actually an important and very intuitive function built into the headset based on the mouse movement and the mouse functionality feature within VR. The only thing that's missing right now as far as input is a keyboard. And that is very unfortunate because Oculus Quest has been, uh, has been integrating keyboards, physical keyboards into virtual reality. Microsoft has the mouse here and the part that is just so gut-wrenching is that Microsoft actually innovated a keyboard. They work with Logitech and they actually developed a Windows Mixed Reality uh, a keyboard that, a physical keyboard that actually is represented in virtual reality. The keyboard actually has the LED lights on top of it so that the cameras in the headset can pick up the location of the keyboard uh, on your desk and then you can type by moving your hands on the physical keyboard and you can see where it's actually located in, in VR because it's tracked by the, the LEDs above the keyboard. That physical keyboard never made it to market and even worse, um, Oculus picked it up. They actually took the technology and they ran with it. And now Logitech has a physical keyboard that works with the Quest 2. And, and they're just reaping the benefits of it. And Microsoft doesn't have that device. When all of the actual 
initial development was done by Microsoft and Logitech. Matter of fact, on GitHub, you can actually see the initial product and the initial designs and the actually the software and the code for making that work um, is out there. But the, again, the marketing just kills Microsoft. I don't understand why they don't go through with these things when they know that this is that would be the final piece you have the mouse control you have the keyboard control and then you'd be fully productive in vr all right so that wraps it up for this particular feature set i kind of went kind of long but um we wanted to focus primarily on just the inputs right now and hopefully uh, you get a sense for how microsoft is utilizing this particular vr space for windows mixed reality portal and the and the neat functionalities that they actually have built into it that you may not have known about but now that you do hopefully uh this gives you a, a new perspective on the windows mixed reality uh, portal and its functionality and how you can actually use this as a secondary desktop and we're going to get into some of the different uh, functionalities when it comes to applications in another video but with that thanks for watching and we'll see you in vr